it is time to create our flow i'm going to click on automated cloud flow and we're going to call this sales order placement when a new response is submitted so i'm going to click on create then it's called order placement that's the name of the form order placement the next action to add here is get response details and our form is the order placement and um, response id is going to be this response id the next here instead of me creating item directly in my sql server i'm going to retrieve the username so get user profile because i need the name of the person get user profile and i'm going to throw in here the email the responder email responders email the next step here is to insert a row so there's an action you can even type sql so that you can see this sql server and right here you see actions delete row execute a query a whole lot we want to insert a row and that's what we have here insert row i'm going to click on it and because there's no connection it's asking for connection uh for the first time you might try to sign in for you uh here i'm going to just click it and say new connection so it's looking for that connection i'm going to say windows authentication similar to what we did right there and it's asking the same information right now which i actually have done before i don't know why i couldn't find the connection so let's create a new one and sql server name i have it already copyright here which is this and the database name is practice the username also have it copied which is this then my password i'm going to put my password there then the gateway i'm connecting to is on-premise gateway so i'm going to click on create it is done creating and right here i can see this it has me server name this is my server it is stored now database name is practice what is the table name that i'm connecting to you see we have cargo we have two tables in our database is loading those things right now it should retrieve cargo and our sales order of course you can see that one on cargo card data or the sales order i'm interested in sales order you see right now information is going to drop here all the columns on my sales you're going to see everything here and you can see they are all compulsory all right they are all compulsory so let's come here for customer number i don't have customer number it should be on my form and i didn't create customer number on my form so let me join start response id there as customer number all right first name so i'm going to see that right here first name i'm going to say last name see that last year right here last name i'm going to see gender we're also going to see gender email address that's of the customer so i'm going to say uh that's email address customer email address the products i'm going to fill it right here product amount paid should be number so it might fail you can see right now i can't see anything so because it needs a number so i'm going to come here and put floats and come back here and look for amount when i see amount amount paid i'm going to insert click on ok then i'm going to click on this guy copy it come to amount paid go to expression paste it here and insert so that's how i'm able to insert amount paid then employment status let's say employment status right there training date which is date and this guy might be coming in you see it's not coming in as date so similar thing that we're going to do here inside training status i'm going to come here and say format date time and i'm going to come here and look for the training date which is the one coming from form uh training commencement date training commencement date i'm going to put the comma to specify the format in sql server database it is year month day that is it so which i've also done right here okay i'm going to control a control c to copy this click on ok i don't need it under training status i need it in training date training date so i'm going to come to expression paste this here and insert then date created we are not putting anything because it's auto there's a default value and it should be always the default so uh training status 
we're gonna this guy too uh so let's just say new will be starting it manually employee name is called display name and then employee email address is going to be a uh, responder email right so it needs us to put the created but we expect it to be uh to have a default value so i'm going to click on save okay this created is required all right so for me i'm going to format count expression format daytime utc now then what format do i need it here yeah, i think mm i think dd right i'm going to insert this okay then i'm going to click on save let's put it on test manually then say test and fill our form and see if everything will run well okay i'm going back to the form right now our customer name i'm going to put adele last name i'm going to say vance gender female email address adele v at mspowert.onmicrosoft.com the products interested in this power to it, the amount paid is 80 80,000 the training commencement date is going to be sometimes friday then employment status is going to be employed submit so we are done submitting the flow should be triggered and we should have the data inserted in our database so insert row successful let's go to the database if we're going to see anything uh, I can't see anything right now, but if I reload this query and just run this query, I should see the data. Wow, whoa. can you see it right here? ID, customer number, everything we talked about, we inserted on the form, is right here at the back end. Awesome. You know, so in respect of the database that you have, if you have a form or you have any Power apps, you can always do this with Power Automate. The challenge is not applications or solutions. The challenge is rather having this application solution talk to each other and that's exactly what power automate is meant for can you see right now we've been able to test this solution and in the next video we'll do another test from another account like at advanced all right thank you and bye